Well, we found, found some games. Look at this. Do you? Yep. Stuff that I do need. Finally. Finally. What's up everybody, this is Mr. Right Way and today's video is a re-upload with bonus footage because the Retro Ghetto is joining me today and we are talking about our Wii U journey. He is completing the PAL Wii U set. I am on my way to finish the Wii U North American set, guys. So without further ado, let's jump back into the video with bonus footage, guys. I hope you enjoy this. It is so amazing and I am so, so excited. That's right, so excited to give you this once again, guys. And remember to stay to the end to see what I added to the collection because, man, it is some amazing things that you would not think that would be in a Wii U collection. Let's check it out. What's up, everybody? I am still Mr. Rightway, and on today's video, I have a special guest joining me because he is completing a pal we use it that's right the retro ghetto is coming along with me today and we are going to try to both build our wii u collection the right way but before we get to that guys this is your first time on the channel make sure you hit that like button and the subscribe button because this wii u series is going to get even bigger and better with that being said, guys, we're going to go right into the video and let's see what we added to the Wii U collection today. All right, y'all, look at this. This is a Wii U, a whole Wii U up here. Yeah. I think I'm going to get this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got a Wii U at Goodwill for a very good price. and It was around 30 bucks. Both of the systems, they work, they're great. This actually has a little sleeve on it and it works. So I am going to store this, uh, put it in the collection until, I don't know what I want to do with it. I don't know if I want to keep it or sell it, but I'm probably going to keep it because I have one in the kiosk, I don't have an extra one. So this would be my extra Wii U. But guys, let's go and see what else we're adding to the collection. Yes, sir. Oh, no, John, man. Let's see. Yeah, I have it. Are these all you have? You have any more, like in the back? No, this is everything you have right here. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right, we're at Game Exchange and we're going to go in here and see buy, sell, and trade. Can we find some more Nintendo Wii U games?
Here is the GameCube stuff right here. All right, here's a Wii U game that is hard to come by. Fire and Rescue, look at that, 44 for there. Probably find it somewhere else, but yeah, that's, see how Wii U games are getting pretty expensive. Suck down the apple. Okay. All right. I've been striking out the last couple of days, but I have some stuff. Some okay stuff. So I got Popeye. Found a Naruto game, which is good. Oh, you saw that look. I saved it, y'all. I saved it. Brain Age, Sims, Wii Sports, which has Mario in it, and the Kingdom Hearts 2. Happy to get all these. I would definitely take these. Today is yellow, so these just came out. Happy to get it. In the Wii U hunt, guys, we know we're going strong. And on this episode, we add something because guess what? Retro Wolf, he got something for me, y'all. Look at it. I want y'all to see this, y'all. Look at this. This man's going for a Wii U collection. I'm not. I just collect the games that I want. So you know what? I'm gonna give this to him as a gift. The Smurfs 2 on the Wii U. He needs it more than I do. <laughs> he's been really nice to me. Allow me in his house, check out his game room. It's the least I can do. So, and, it, and plus he's gonna take me game hunting, so I'm gonna hook the man up. Man, that is awesome. I, I appreciate it. I just wanna get it on camera because I'm trying to get every game I get on camera. And this is pretty cool right here, guys, because like you saying, he gave me a really nice, awesome gift for it so we can add this to the collection. And I'm not selling this. I'm trying not to, <laughs> if I, if Lord permits it. But everything is going really, really good, y'all. So we got Smurfs 2, and this is an uncommon game. Yeah. It's kind of hard to yeah. get. It is kind of hard. Also, these Smurf games has a little watermark right here on the thing. So it is legit. Mm -hmm. And... Complete in box. Complete. Look at that, y'all. It's complete. So, it's good, guys. All right. So, let's see what other Wii U games we can find in this episode. Let's check it out.
week, ladies and gentlemen. It's time. Well, it is time for the main event because we have the Retro Ghetto and all the way from the UK. And we're going to let you see how collecting for the Wii U is on the other side of the world. So Retro Ghetto, take it away, sir. Retro Ghetto. Hi everybody, welcome to the Retro Ghetto. For those that don't know, I've been documenting my quest to complete the full PAL Wii U set. So much so that I'm down to the final 15 games. Today I'm going to take you guys along for the journey with me to try and find some Wii U games out in the wild so we can see what game hunting for Wii U is like here in the UK in 2022. Wish me luck. Okay guys, so we're about to start the game hunt. Obviously we're on the hunt for Wii U games. Now the first stop's going to be a couple of charity shops or thrift stores. Obviously I'm not expecting to find one of the 15 Wii U games I need in a random charity shop near my house. But uh, hopefully we'll be able to get some bits in there that we'll be able to trade because we're also going to go to CEX which is like the equivalent of GameStop. So hopefully we'll find some value in there that we can then use to hopefully get some Wii U games. Also, later on this afternoon, if I've got time, we're going to try and get to a specialist uh, retro game store as well. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we're going to have some Wii U games ticked off the list by the end of the day. I don't play games with my son PlayStation. Man, I'm old school like an Atari game. A tiger, hit me with the tiger flame. This shit reality, not like Sega. Dreamcast, Mega Drive, my master system. N64, the Super Nintendo, we missed them. And if man wanna challenge, I'm taking out twist them. Okay, so as you've just seen from the footage, we hit a bit of a jackpot there, guys. Some great Xbox 360 titles. Um, and as you can see, £1.50 each, five games, total £7.50. Now, some really nice titles there. Um, some I already own, and usually some of those will go straight into the collection. But I'm very much on the Wii U journey right now. That's my sole focus. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these titles, we're going to take this £7.50. We're going to go to CEX, which is the equivalent of the American GameStop. And we're going to see what they're going to give me for trading for them. Hopefully we're going to be able to use that trading credit to get a Wii U game that we need, get that list down a bit more. Um, hopefully there's a couple of other stores that we'll be able to stop in on the way that I can show you guys. And also, I'm still hoping to be able to go to a specialist vintage shop after that, uh, where hopefully they're going to have some Wii U on the shelves. So yeah, so far so good. Let's keep going. Okay, so we had no luck whatsoever in that charity shop, but what we're next going to try is cash converters, aka crack converters, 
Uh, every now and again, you can pick up on a bargain in here, so let's see what we can find. Okay, so the next stop on the journey is Game. Um, game stopped selling Wii U and that whole um, generation of consoles a couple of years ago now. And to be honest, the business feels a bit like a sinking ship. I don't know how much longer it's going to be on the high street. I'd say there's not going to be any Wii U in here, but it's well worth taking a look just to see what we can find. Okay, so that was a very successful trip to CEX. As you've seen, I've managed to turn that £7.50 I spent in the charity shop into a £43 trading credit voucher. And not only that, they also had a Wii U game that I needed. So that's one more off the set. We're going to head now to a specialist retro video game store. It's also got a bit of an arcade in there. It's a really, really good store. So I'm looking forward to hopefully finding some more Wii U games. Next time you see me, we're going to be back in the retro ghetto, taking a closer look at my pickups from today. I'll see you there. Okay, so we are back at the Retro Ghetto after what I think was a very successful day hunting for Wii U here in the UK. As you guys saw, I managed to turn that initial £7.50 purchase from the first charity shop into a £43 trading note at CEX. They also had a game on the shelves that I needed for my collection, and that was one of my favourite games of all time, Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, you may be surprised to hear that I didn't already have that in my collection, having amassed so many Wii U games. The reason being, and a bit of a top tip for anybody else that's thinking about going for a full set, there's no rush when it comes to these first party titles. These games sold in the millions, their price is relatively set now, it's not going to go up or down too much in the next few coming months or years, so I wasn't in a rush. But when you get to the last 15, you just pick up these games where you can, so I was happy to find one on the shelves that I needed, and I've still got some change on that credit note for a further purchase down the line. Also, you see me go to Kirkby and Ashby Sales and Exchange, which is a little bit of a pawn shop, but they specialise in toys and video games. It's an amazing shop with lots of retro and also an arcade in the back. I've done a full tour on that, and that's going to be on my channel very soon, so keep it locked to the retro ghetto for that. But they also had a couple of Wii U games on their shelves that I needed. The first one that I managed to pick up was Wii Party U, and they also had Sonic Lost World. Now, I've recently quite learned that the Sonic Lost World Deadly Six Edition is in fact a variant. There's also one without the Deadly Six Edition. So every time I think I'm getting closer to that full set target, someone makes me aware that there's another variant and the list keeps growing. For now, I'm happy to have just one of the games, and maybe once the set's complete, I'll start looking at variants and that kind of thing. So as I said, guys, I'm very, very close to the finish line now with my Wii U set. So make sure you keep it locked to the retro ghetto for all things Wii U, and join me on my quest to complete this set. Only thing left to say, as always, is play your games, keep it retro, and do it the right way. Okay, on the Wii U stuff, I'm seeing different things here. 
I just yet to get one of these. I don't think I have Rayman Legends either. There's a few games in here I don't have. I think I don't have, I don't think I don't have Avengers. I think I need to go and get Avengers. Oh, look y'all, this is Tank, Tank, Tank. Oh, and it went up to 29. I need to go and get it. Since I got store credit, I'm probably gonna use that. Watch those on you, but look right here. This right here is We Fit You. I don't ever see the We Fit You. And I don't like We Fits, but the We Fit You, I just might have to get it. And let me see, anything else in here? No Splatoon, I don't need no Splatoon. I don't need Skylander. Paper Mario, look at Paper Mario. That went up. Hmm. I want to check. I'm definitely gonna have to check. Monster Hunter 3. I might check that. I'm gonna check all of these and see if I have it. Alright, this is for the Weezy collection. I might get this one. That game stuff, they got a couple. Games, but you don't need that one. I think I might need that one. Oh, I do need that one. But I need the case, but this one's hard to find. Um, you know. And then look, Pokemon Tournament. Still cheap. So it brings it to 1156. All right, we just left out of GameStop hunting for Wii U stuff. Paid $11 for all of these. Worth a lot, lot more. Especially the Spider-Man. Spider-Man and this Phoenix and Third. Both of these games are like $40 games each now. So, you know, the price is rising. Uh, only reason I got this because one day I hope to find the case and manual for it. Hopefully. So, y'all got the case and manual for this? I definitely need it. Spider-Man. It may be an upgrade because it is other edition. And then Skylanders. Imaginators. Oh good. I use all of my I use my military and also use 20,000 points to get this for like eleven dollars as you see. So that is a good deal, guys. Okay, as you seen guys, I did pick up this We Fit You. Only reason why I picked up this Wii Fit U is because it's Wii U branded, right? The Wii Fit U, this was nine bucks. Didn't pay anything for it. Well, I paid it with trade, just like the other games you saw there at Game Exchange. This is pretty good in the box. It's sealed. I'm probably never going to get on this right here, but it is heavy. I am definitely going to keep that for the collection. And what I'm adding to the collection, seen in the previous video, but I'm going to go over it again. I definitely need this Phoenix and Fur. I need that artwork for it. So you have it. This game is pretty hard to find. But there you go for the Wii U. Got that. We got Call of Duty Black Ops, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, Scribble Knots, The Avengers, Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, and Tank Tank Tank. And this game is going up, up, up. So if you see this game, please add it to your collection, guys. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, new videos coming out next week, every Monday and Friday, guys. And if you have not caught up on the Wii U journey. And guys, thank you once again for joining me. And always remember to do it the right way. See you next time.